bit of an interesting one here is Rory Singer meets up with Jason McDonald. By interesting, I mean the fact that in the main event we have Rich Franklin versus Yushin Okami. The last guy Yushin Okami beat was Rory Singer. The last guy Rich Franklin beat was Jason McDonald. So, <laughs> well, pardon me, Okami has beaten uh, Mike Swick since Rory Singer. But Singer last fought Okami. He gave up to strikes in the third round, and uh, McDonald didn't come out after the second round in his fight with Rich Franklin. So, both guys are 2-1 and one in the UFC. Singer beating Ross Poynton and Josh Haynes. You did it again. Sorry about that. Um, okay, we're on the Singer-McDonald fight. Um, I was about to explain who they'd actually beaten. And uh, Singer beat Ross Poynton at the Tough 3 finale and uh, had a very... Very good fight with Josh Haynes. Won that as well. As for Jason McDonald, he has submission victories over Ed Herman and Chris Lieben. McDonald's a bigger guy. He's considerably big for a middleweight. Quite big. Six foot three. Weighs in at 185 pounds, but if I were to estimate his actual weight, probably it's closer to 220, maybe. Maybe 210 at least. Big guy. Uh, veteran guy out of Canada. 19 and 8. Singer, also a veteran, 12 and 7, trains with Forrest Griffin. Both have uh, pretty good ground skills. I'd say McDonald has the better ground skills. Uh, Singer is the better stand up. I think there's no question about that because McDonald's stand up is oftentimes pretty pitiful. Against Franklin and Lieben, his stand up looked very bad. So, um, <laughs> your call. Uh, I think this one to McDonald based on his record. I'm also going to give it to McDonald just because even though his stand-up is terrible, I don't see this fight standing for very long. I think McDonald will take Singer down. Okay, in what I personally think is a bit of a crapshoot match here, Hector Ramirez, 6'2 and 1, 6 feet tall, 205 pounds. He used to fight at heavyweight, though, so he's a big 205er. Forrest Griffin, 6'3, 205, 13 and 4. Um, you, everyone knows Forrest Griffin of Tough One, the original winner of The Ultimate Fighter. Had the great war with Stefan Bonner <laughs> on the finale. If uh, you haven't seen it, I consider I would seriously recommend finding it and watching it. Uh, he's fighting Hector Ramirez. Hector has one fight in the UFC. He got TKO'd by James Irvin, who has a way of ending things very spectacularly, i.e. the flying knee to Terry Martin, the injured knee against Thiago Silva, and even, even the uh, high kick to uh, Hector Ramirez. But Ramirez was winning the fight up until he got, he just gassed and you know, couldn't go. Forrest Griffin's coming off of a loss to Keith Jardine, who just got decimated by Houston Alexander. Um, Forrest is the taller man, but I think Hector's the heavier one. Hector is the better wrestler, I think, and he has, he has good KO power, although his stand-up is not that good. Forrest Griffin has decent stand-up, has, has pretty good ground game. Just all around, pretty good fighter. Uh, he definitely has the advantage of cardio because, as I said, Hector gassed badly against James Irvin. So, uh, how about a prediction? Uh, I'm gonna get this one to Griffin. He seems to have a bit of a better record. Yeah, I'm gonna go. With, I'm gonna go with Forrest just because I think I haven't seen Hector really have much of a finishing ability, and Forrest does have a good chin despite getting basically knocked out by Jardine. Okay, in the main event, we have Rich Ace Franklin and Yushin Okami. Uh, this is basically winner's going to get a shot at Anderson Silva or Nathan Marquardt, whoever wins the UFC 73 title match at 185 pounds. Uh, we got Franklin, he's a UFC veteran. He's 8 and 1 in the UFC, of course. He had seven straight wins to open up. Then he lost to Anderson Silva, and he has since beat Jason McDonald. As for Yushin Okami, he's on a four-fight win streak. Always already has beaten Anderson Silva, although it was by illegal upkick, which actually got Silva disqualified. So it's kind of a hollow victory because he actually got knocked out by the upkick. Uh, he's beaten Mike Swick, Rory Singer, Caleb Starnes, and Alan Belcher, which is a pretty good list. Pretty good. Um, so we basically have Okami. He's a very strong kind of American style fighter, which is surprising for a Japanese fighter. He's very take him down, round and pound him. He's got some submission ability, but it's not his primary weapon. As for Ace Franklin, he's probably got the advantage standing up. I don't know if he can, he is very, he's larger a little bit than Okami, and 
he will be hard to take down, but I don't think impossible. Off of his back, Rich is good, but uh, Okami is very good at controlling you and so on. So I think this basically boils down to if Okami can take Rich Franklin down and uh, maintain dominant position, he'll have a relatively easy net. But Rich on the feet is more deadly, and he won't be that easy to control because he is a big man, very strong. So, what is your uh, pick for the former middleweight champion of the UFC, and of course, Yushin Okami? Well, I like to see ground and pound action a lot. So, I, out of curiosity, I know more about Rich Flank Franklin, I'd say, but don't know as much about Yushin Okami, but. Uh, just really give it to you, Yuji no Kami, because I'm curious to see what he can do. Yeah, well, I'm kind of conflicted on this one more so. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's for a change, not because I don't know these guys, because I know both fighters quite well. But it's a very intriguing match, and I'm glad. I'm no, I'm no ill will towards Martin Cantman, but I'm kind of happy he did get injured, because it allows this matchup to happen. Originally, the main event was supposed to be Rich Franklin versus Martin Cantman, which in my opinion, would have been a bit lopsided. Franklin is much larger than Martin Kampman and would have a significant wrestling advantage over Martin. Um, like I said, this is this is a tough one. You break it down, and there are so many ways Rich Franklin can win, and there are ways that Yushin Okami can win, and this is the question. I am going to say Rich Franklin, but I'm going to say it's going to be a very close fight. That's That's my opinion. So anyways, that's all we got for UFC 72. Of course, the winner of the Franklin Okami fight will fight the winner of the Silver Mark Ward fight, or at least that's how it's supposed to work. The UFC, however, has done this to us before where they haven't actually given us the match that we wanted. Uh, I will see you on the Tough 5 finale or UFC 73, whichever comes first. Chris might be back then. I don't Maybe. Know. Um, as for now, I'm signing out. Peace. Hey.